Hi, my name's Helen and this is my channel, Helen Mary Jo. If you're new here, then welcome. If you're returning, thank you. And if you're a Hell's Bell, hello. I don't normally look like this. So um, a couple of people lately, oh, I think it's a bit squiff. Hang on, just. A um, couple of people lately have commented on my makeup and asked me to do another makeup video. So I'm just doing a slightly different makeup and uh, I'm going to blow dry my hair. So if that doesn't interest you, that's absolutely fine. Um, I just thought as I was doing it, I would film it. So I've used my LED mask that I've been using regularly. And I, I think it's definitely helping my skin. Very hard to judge on yourself, isn't it, really? But um, yeah, I think it's looking pretty good. I've got another gadget to show you which is um, really advanced technology so that's going to be really interesting to see how that looks. I've put my um, Elemis cream on and um, I'm not going to be doing like a fancy makeup because I am just at home today. Um, I'm travelling up to London later on today um, to stay over before I go to Westfield tomorrow for my Bra Bravissimo um, collaboration that I'm really looking forward to actually, because I'm taking my sister, I'm not taking her, I'm meeting her there, she's a grown woman, um, and uh, Kathy, her name is, and uh, we are going to get, well, I, I've been fitted, so I guess I'll just be choosing a bra and Kathy will be fitted for a bra um, on the back of what I did last time. Um, so that's really exciting. And um, other than that, I'm just gonna quickly apply my makeup I'm not an expert. I'm not claiming to be an expert. I've just worn makeup all my life. I'm 65, nearly 66, and um, I enjoy it. So, you know, that's all. So um, my brushes need cleaning before anyone tells me that, I know. So I use a flat-headed foundation brush. And um, the what I've been using just recently because my Dior... Um, is slightly too dark at the moment um, because my skin hasn't had any sun. And so I've been using this um, Herborion BB cream, which I love. Nadine Baggett, Nadine Bagger, if you watch her at all, this is one of her favourite brands. And I've got this in the shade Dore. And uh, I had a little jar, uh, tube of it and um, I've invested in the larger jar because the cost per mil is so much better if you buy the bigger tube so that's all I put on the brush that's loads in actual fact I'm just going to pop a hairband on so I don't that's the only thing with having um gray slash white slash blonde hair is if you get any makeup on it so the first thing I do is just kind of stipple it on just lightly all over my face I'm just going to move this mirror so that I can see what I'm doing and then I just blend it all in. And um, yeah, I love watching makeup videos on YouTube personally. It's just something that I've always enjoyed. I love watching, you know, the makeup that people are wearing on the TV. It just fascinates me. I just think you can get so many different looks with it. Just blend that down to my neck. Uh, I'm not using a concealer or anything or contouring or any of that jazz because that's um, that's high days and holidays. And I'm just, uh, no one's seeing me but me and my daughter later. So, yeah, so that's all nicely blended in. So that's number one. I'm putting all these in my little travel makeup bag as I go along so that I remember what I need for tomorrow. And then I am going to use my NARS uh, blusher in the orgasm hue. Look how much I've used. So I must like it, mustn't I? And then... I read quite recently, and I have been doing it, is don't take your blusher past your eye. 
apparently. When, as we get older ladies, we only want everything up. To elevate your face, not drag it down. So, not going mad on the blusher, but just enough to give me a little bit of colour. And then, if if this was like, um, if I was doing this for an occasion, or usually even for filming, to be honest, I'd probably put some primer on my eye eyelids. But I'm not doing that because, as I just said. This is just a quick um, example of what I do. I can't find my pencil sharpener. I was going to use this um, liner. This is a new um, look that I've been doing lately. And a couple of you have noticed. You're so eagle-eyed, these my viewers. Honestly, it's incredible. So I'm just using whatever I can find on this occasion. This is a Rimmel. It's called Exaggerate little very dark brown um pencil and i'm gonna have to look in the mirror but i just go right at the edge of my lashes so like as if i'm actually going into my lashes so you know i can feel the hairs of my lashes going at the same time So just to give the edge of my eye that definition and it makes sure eyelashes look thicker too. So that's um, that. And then I am going to use my crayon. Doesn't have a name, but you can see it's kind of like a, a brownie colour. And I'm just going to go in like over the eyeliner. So just kind of smudging it into the edge of my eye. And then also just going under a little bit, just to give my eyes some definition. This stuff is quite forgiving, it's very soft. And then I am just going to use little tear shaped brush just to blend that in as I say this is just you know this is a kind of just a daytime look Just, just so that, you know, you've got some eyeshadow on. Um, and then mascara. It's very, very, you know, it's a very basic. But, like, if you're a little bit scared of makeup, this is kind of quite a good place to start, you know, if you don't want to do the whole eyelid. I've got a really big eyelid. And sometimes it, that can be a bit, um, you know, you think, oh, God, this is, like, too much. Because if I just kind of cover my whole lid, which I do do, um, if I'm doing a smoky eye or whatever, but it's a lot of, um, you know, it's a lot of shadow. So I'm just using an eyelash primer here, which makes all the difference. It really does. This is a Maybelline um, Sensational, it's called. I think it's getting a bit low. I probably need to get another one. But you can see it really... Is a good base for your mascara. <laughs> While that's drying, I would just do my eyebrows. Now, if I was just normally at home, I probably wouldn't, but I've got this iconic pen, which I think I've shown you before. Um, it's It's got two parts. So it's got one end a brush, one end a little pencil, it's got a little spoolie there, and then there's gel in this one. So I'm gonna brush my eyebrows up, 
like a lot of a lot of me needs doing if you know what i mean like my I, my eyebrows need shaping my um eyelashes need tinting all that stuff but i'm kind of waiting for uh i've got all the appointments booked in just before our holiday because you know obviously i want it all done for that so i'm quite lucky i've i've got like reasonable eyebrows but this this is very good for just um like filling in any gaps i've got like a little um non-pigmented mole under that eyebrow and uh, sometimes it looks like there's a gap there so and then i just put on a little tiny bit of gel i'll scrape the excess off and just having decent brows you know whether they're i've had them uh, microbladed before i tint them but you know it it does make a huge difference to your um frame of your face if you have eyebrows and that old thing is that they're cousins not sis not twins so you know they should not be identical and then this is a um mac magic extension mascara that I've nearly got to the end of now. It's getting a bit cloggy. I might treat myself tomorrow when I'm up at Westfield. There's only, um, Westfield is a global organization owned now by a French company in Europe and America. I think that's right. My daughter, my middle daughter, well, middle child, uh, second daughter, works for them. And uh, yeah, so that's um, kind of bones of the makeup for want of a better expression. And then I'm just grabbing this lip pencil, which needs um, sharpening, but I think there's enough there. And I just go around the edge So I just go around the edge lightly. I do actually do this every day um, because I find I just fill in by just filling that in I do end up with um, some colour on my lips all day. Now I just need to find um, a lipstick that can go with this. Oh, this is a nice one. This is a MAC one called C Sheer. So that's um, my makeup. Always looks a bit scary when you first do it until you put, you know, until you do your hair and everything. So um, today I'm gonna, I'm, I'll, I'll put it on like fast because nobody needs to see me. But you know, I got this little um, hair dryer in uh, Lidl. It's actually really good. I use this now out of choice. I've got a professional hair dryer, but this. Um, it's a great little gadget. It's really powerful. It's got a cold spray, a uh, cold button, and it was only um, fourteen ninety nine. I'm not sure if you can get them still, but if if they come back into Lidl and you can get one, I'd I'd say it's great because that's what I'm taking on holiday. So I'm going to rough dry my hair with this so that it's kind of ninety percent dry, and then today. I don't know what mood I'm in. I think I'm in a mood for a bit more of a bounce. So I'm going to use, oh, the state of it's got hair all over it. This is my Babyliss. I'm not sure it's plugged in. No, it's not plugged in. But this is the one where the barrel uh, rotates. 
So I'll, I'll rough dry my hair and then I will show you how I use this. Right, that's my hair rough dried. I'm just going to pop a little bit of this GHD heat protect on just a spritz. I don't always use it, but um, I've been using a lot of heat on my hair lately. And I am also going to use, oh, where is it? So this is um, Persian Reed Hair Wonder Balm, because my hair looks a bit fly away. So I've got very coarse, very thick hair, so I can probably get away with a bit more. You know, the thing with these products is you just have to try them and see what works for you. So I'm plagued with all these um, baby hairs coming through at the moment. The amount of hair that's falling out of my head. I'm amazed I've got any hair. And um, I'm just going to... It's quite nice like that, isn't it? Um, just going to section off the sort of top layer. Just using any clip I can find. And then I am going to use this fabulous um, dryer. So basically... I always use everything on the highest heat because my hair is pretty robust. And then you pop it on and then this brush rotates whatever way you need it to. So um, I'll do a little bit like in real time and then I will put it on to um, time lapse. This will give you you know, this can give you a really bouncy blow dry. If that's what you're looking for, you will get a bouncy blow dry. I think these are marvellous, these brushes. I'm just going to do the front before it gets too, too uh, dry. And then once I've got it kind of dry, if I really want the curl to hold, I will just let it cool down like this. Sometimes I'll put a roller in if I'm in the mood, if it's, you know, really special. But um, otherwise, just do this. It's still quite warm. You have to be patient with this stuff. I'm really not patient at all, as my kids will testify. So that's got kind of a good wave to it. So I'm just kind of kind of do it like that so it kind of sets. Then I go around and do the back. So I'm going to put it on time lapse because this is so boring for you. But um, I've got a lot of hair, so it takes a lot of time. I'm always amazed. I've blown drying, blow dried quite a few people's hair. And I can never believe how quickly their hair dries in comparison to mine. It's, it's quite the labour. So um, I'll put it on time lapse and um, finish it up. So you can see that this this sort of this gadget is absolutely if you haven't used one before and you've got medium, I wouldn't say really long hair. My my daughter, Grace, it doesn't work for her hair. She's got incredibly thick, long hair sort of down to here and it, it just isn't powerful enough. She just blow dries it and then uses um, straighteners to get a wave. She's really brilliant with her hair, actually. Um, so that's kind of it. That looks all right, doesn't it? It'll look different again tomorrow because I'll have slept on it. So um, this is cut into a shaggy bob, which when I do it like this, it does look quite kind of like a regular bob. Um, but uh, if I kind of want to, I can and I can kind of go over a, like the shaggy bits with a straightener if I want them to be more pronounced. But um, yeah. Looks all right.
so that's my hair and then I I'm just going to stick my plain gold hoops in because they're my go-to really on a daily basis I just think about what I'm wearing tomorrow um and yeah I've got so, I've got so many things to show you it's it's crackers so this is my necklace from the Meneer Head and Mary Jo collection that I, I tend to wear every day now really unless I'm wearing silver um so that's me just for good measure I'll use my Mac uh fixing spray I don't know if it works really but I've managed to get it on my hair so that's uh gonna affect that anyway a few hours so i've delivered uh as i say if it's not your thing just scroll on by and um that's my kind of i mean if i'm here on my own all day i wouldn't even bother putting lipstick or uh, makeup on i probably if you're lucky put a bit of mascara on when i was at work i never ever 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 went without any kind you know i always wore makeup of some description but you know down the, down here that's not so much a thing so uh, i hope you've enjoyed it and um if you haven't subscribed please do it costs you nothing you can unsubscribe at any time and um i'll see you really soon thanks for watching bye <laughs>